when we think of holistic, uh, in, instead of thinking of, of radical viewpoints, what I've learned that holistic really means is looking at the whole picture, looking at how things are interconnected. And in nature, everything is interconnected. Okay? When we walk out into a well-managed pasture and we look down, we don't see monocultures. We see mixtures. We see 40, 50, 60, 80 different plants all growing together. When we're, when we're out in the field and we're trying to farm conventionally, we're doing a lot of monoculture things that are, are tough to maintain because we're working against Mother Nature. So when I look at that holistically, I say, okay, how does this all fit together? Uh, how does the corn interact with the beans? And how, how, when a weed is coming, or a bunch of weeds, what, what reaction is this? Is, it, is this Mother Nature's reaction saying I need more diversity? Or is her reaction saying I don't want any bare ground? And then I can move towards addressing that. So what I'm also hearing you saying is that this, this system requires understanding. It's, it's not just a simple formula. You do these three things and you're going to get great stuff. This is, yep. this is a, a question of your becoming a scientist <laughs> and an observer and, and watching things over time. Uh, it's it's not a quick fix. Right, yeah. right. The, the things that we're doing with soil health are definitely long-term investments. Yeah. We, can, we can go out and spread 100 pounds or 200 pounds of urea fertilizer on a field and we can see right to the line right. where we put this. I mean, it's an immediate reaction. The things that we're doing with cover crops and with keeping living roots in the soil are long-term investments. And you might not see the payoff for that investment until a dry year a couple years down the road, something to that effect. Or, or maybe it'll be two years down the road before you come back to that field with corn and you come by and you look at that and you say, boy, that is a healthy field of corn. You know, what's going on here? And yeah. I've, I've seen that. That's what's happening for me. So no, it's not a quick fix. It's a long-term investment and a long-term viewpoint. We need to understand that the soil is full of microbes and bacteria just like uh, a herd of cattle on top of the soil uh, is full of life and full of, full of options and things you can do. And we'll manage a herd of cattle. We'll provide them food, we'll provide them water, we'll provide them a good environment. And when we do that with a herd of cattle, the cattle flourish. Okay? They produce well, they look healthy, things happen, big calves and, and healthy things. The microbes and the other bacteria in the soil are the same way. Okay? We can manage them. Okay? We can feed them. We can create a good environment for them, and we can, we can make them flourish, and we can make them produce the nutrients that our plants need from the things that are around us. Producers, when we used to till, we'd, we'd pull it up and we'd see the roots, and we'd see... We, we knew, part of us knew, that, that there was more to that than just being a medium to hold nutrients. But I don't know that we really understood all of the life, and we still don't understand all the life and all the interactions that were going on in the soil.